All right, so it finally happened. Jane Foster is now Valkyrie. We've been knowing for some months that, I believe this month, Valkyrie issue one was going to be <sighs> dropping with Jane Foster. And we didn't quite know how she becomes Valkyrie, though. Because for those that don't know, you guys know how I feel. I would hope. But if you don't know, go watch my old videos. It's Jane Foster. It's a joke that went too far. You know, a couple years back, she ends up turning into Thor. Uh, then she was uh, in War of the Realms, back as a human. Uh, uh, just a regular Joe Blow becomes all mother of Asgard. And now she's Valkyrie. So what happens is... Long story short, all of the Valkyries, if you will, are dead, including Brunhilde. And they died during the War of the Realms. And what ends up happening is she has this band, right? That's what we were seeing at the end of War of the Realms that I, was made from that hammer that she was using that ended up blowing up. Uh, and it's basically turning into a, a weapon, almost like it's a symbiote. And I'll show you right here in which it can turn into all of these different things, right? So Thor pops up on her as she's at, you know, she's the doctor and so forth. And what ends up happening is the goddamn, like, Brunhilde awakes from the dead, essentially, as a, as a spirit, you know, and she's all lighting up. And this, this happens with all the other Valkyries as well. Uh, now, basically, she's telling her, hey, oh, you got this all weapon now, yada, yada. I now, I, I want you to be Valkyrie. Can you take take this mantle, essentially? And now she she's Valkyrie. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And they just fly off randomly. Just all these dead damn Valkyries, essentially, just fly away, right? And then it says, this will be continued on Jane Foster's uh, Valkyrie. Here are my thoughts. Shit is fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't understand what the, what Jason Aaron, who is the writer, what his obsession is with, with um, Jane Foster. Like I've said before, it almost feels like it was a bet, <laughs> Right. As if he had bet somebody that he could get Jane Foster to be boosted into like prominence. She's always been a side character in affiliation with Thor for the for the most part, um, but obviously in the recent five years or so, they have made this effort to try to push her to the like forefront as a main character, becoming Thor, which again makes absolutely no sense when she becomes Thor, tokenized Thor, and then she has never to be all mother in the war of the realm. So she's commanding all of this essential army of fucking heroes because Thor's mother makes her all mother. And she looks fucking goofy, but now she didn't, she didn't become store. I almost forgot about that, that she becomes store again in war of the realms at the end of it. When she's fighting with, older version of Thor, the current version of Thor, and the past version of Thor. But because she's a Thor, it's like this battle of Thors, right? Again, doesn't make any sense. So then, now she's she's Jane Foster's uh, Valkyrie. And I don't understand the obsession. The There's certain characters that belong being side characters, and nothing well, there's nothing wrong with it, right? There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with being a side character. Some certainly that's their legacy, right? And Jane Foster, we we understand that is her legacy, certainly being in affiliation with Thor. But the whole and Jason Aaron did his damnedest, right? You could read in like the dialogue with all the stories that has Thor and uh She Thor, if you will. And in the dialogue, Jason Aaron writes him trying to validate her existence, knowing goddamn well that fan base doesn't, they don't fuck with Thor, right? So they wrote that in. Uh, well, they'll write shit in like Thor saying, hey, I gave her, you know, Odin is basically representing us. And Odin saying, Thor is your name. You gave her your name. You can't do that shit. And they have him saying, and I, I, did, I have a picture on this on my community wall, 
have Thor saying, I gave her the name. And that's basically what a lot of fiction writers do in which they try to make a character that is beloved justify something that happened. So it makes you feel like, oh, well, he's okay with it. I'm okay with it, right? It's fucking whack. But it's the it's the joke that just has gone too far. The fact that this character has gone from Thor to Valkyrie from being Jane Foster. She's supposed to get killed off. Remember, she had cancer, doesn't have cancer anymore. And it's just, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Uh, and it becomes more and more annoying when you consider the fact that, again, in the dialogue, they're doing their damnedest to try to um, validate this person's existence. I did that video when I felt like they're trolling me in, um, was it the Avengers? Issue 21, where they have a literal troll saying that, what, what did he say? He said something along the lines like, Thor is his name. How can you be Thor? Right? It's not. It's basically not like a, you know, torch to pass, right? That's his name, which it is. And then Thor, or She-Hulk, excuse me, beats his ass. So it almost feels like that's, that's them saying, fuck off people that are criticizing this idiotic move, right? But I don't know. I, I don't know. I think this is something it was bad right it was already bad when she becomes Thor they double they triple down on that she goes back to being Jane Foster becomes Thor be, you no know, becomes all mother of Asgard becomes Thor again for a short period of time in that last issue of War of the Realm so issue six if I'm not mistaken and now she's fucking Valkyrie it's like you don't know what to do with her should have killed her off that would maybe been the best thing that could have happened if they were going to make a Thor which again is still stupid that still should have never happened. But if they were so committed in making this stupid shit happen, they should have killed her off with the cancer. Didn't. So now she's Valkyrie. It's fucking dumb, man. And I wish they'd go ahead and just kill this character off. She's the gift that... It's not even a gift that keeps on giving. She's the joke that just went too far. She's a cancer, literally, and she had cancer. Fuck. So who knows what she's going to be next, man? Who, who fucking knows? Who fucking knows... What she's going to be next, she may replace Hella. She may fucking, who knows? Who knows what she's going to be next? She may become a fucking frost giant. We don't know. It's like they're just trying to figure out what the hell to do with her. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Again, it's a joke that just, 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 just went too far, Marvel. Jason Aaron, stop it with this weak shit.